Why are you so skinny? Ugh, you're fat. Wow, you eat a lot. Do you even eat? You're not even that pretty. Should I lose weight? Hello? Alright. The statements you just heard are thoughts which runs through a person's mind who has a negative body image. I know that at one point in my life, this has happened to me. Good morning, everyone. My name is Enrique Romero, and I would like to welcome you, Director Reverall, fellow guests, and the class of 2016 to my senior talk. Today, I'm going to be speaking to you about my quest on helping others lead a healthy lifestyle. But before I do that, I want to share with you all why I decided to choose this topic. It all started back in middle school. I wasn't very confident in myself at the time. And every time, that I, looked at, every time I looked at myself in the mirror, I would think that I was too skinny and was insecure about my body. I knew that it was something that I wanted to change about myself, but at the time, I didn't know how to. One of the reasons that has led me to view myself so negatively was the fact that I was made fun of for being skinny. As time progressed, I didn't think it was going to affect me as much as it did because I just thought to myself that they were just playing around. I mention this because this negative body image is what ultimately led me to start working out and lead a healthy lifestyle. Throughout this project, I have learned that body image insecurity is more prevalent than you may think. Let me show you what I mean. In today's age, social media is everywhere. And because of social media like Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, many people are being exposed to a constant jumpy photos of bikini bodies and six packs. These images usually pressure people to idolize human perfection, which in turn skews the way in how people view themselves. Social media's focus on beauty has furthered the anxiety that is created around looking perfect. According to a recent study, teens who are active online tend to worry about how others how others technically look at them. This issue also leads to a rise in body dissatisfaction. People will rate each other on Instagram, people will edit their Snapchat selfies, and some will drink in advice on how to improve their online image. Why are people turning over to the internet for body image validation? In adolescence, and self-consciousness and the need for peer validation is at their height. Now, let's go back to the reason why we're here. As I mentioned before, I was made fun of for being skinny. The laughter and jokes is what made me view myself in a negative way. But instead of letting that get to me, I decided to do something about it. That's when I decided to start working out. Now at first, I was a little apprehensive because I was worried that I might not be too good at it. But to my surprise, it started off pretty well. And as time passed, working out has become more and more of a passion to me. As time passed, as time passed to become more fitness conscious has evolved, and I have learned more knowledge on fitness, but I've also found someone who has encouraged me throughout my journey. That man is Mr. Lake. Thanks to him, I have changed both physically and mentally. 
thanks to him, I've been able to get rid of those negative images that I had of myself back, back then. At the start of this senior service project, it started off pretty simple. Find kids who are passionate about working out and then just work out with them. But as this project has evolved, that quickly changed. I realized I can do more with my senior service project. And I knew that I could make an impact on the school and the community. So what I did was I reached out to Mr. Perez, who connected me with two middle school students named David and Daniela. The goals that I set for them was to not only learn how to work out efficiently, but to also understand how the food we eat affects our bodies. Of course, we had many talks about how bad junk food is, including all those hot Cheetos we all love and enjoy. As I continue to meet with them, I've taught them more about fitness, and I've also worked out with them. And I've also, I also asked them what would they want to improve on as one of their daily goals. And they said doing push-ups, running, and overall just in fitness. I had everything planned out, but not everything was going the same way I wanted it to be. I had many struggles throughout my senior service project. I realized that our schedules would constantly conflict, meaning whenever I was available, they weren't, and vice versa. Aside from that, senior year really kicked my butt academically. I had trouble time managing myself, mostly with school work. I also had trouble just time managing in general with like the stuff I needed to do. So like doing my homework, working out on my own, and just keeping up with my senior talk. And that was just a small, it was just a small idea of what my problems were. I also had extracurricular activities. I had, well, I'm into sport, tennis. And due to that, I was missing out time with David and Daniela, missing out time with my senior talk, and sometimes I would miss out time for my class work. So I had to come to the conclusion that I had to quit the, the sport it was a very difficult decision, but it was one needed to keep me back on track. Another small problem that I had was to create a Google document for the Encore program to keep track of our daily agendas. I have realized that being a teacher is hard work, so shout out to all the teachers in the audience right now. As weeks passed, many students were interested in working out and learning more about fitness. Through our meetings, the students here at GPA want to, learn, uh, want to learn how to work out and learn more about fitness, but they may not know where to start. But thankfully, we have strength and conditioning, a place where many students can come together and work out. With the help of Mr. Perez, I have been able, I have been able to help and assist, assist and support strength and conditioning, as well as many other middle schoolers that were there that have the same passion as I do, which is to live a healthier lifestyle. I want to share with you a small video of what I've been doing for the past couple of months. Please enjoy.
Meeting with David and Daniela has been such an amazing experience, but I'm also grateful. No, I'm also happy for um for all the time and effort that I've put in. I realized it was actually rewarding. But I've also had a chance to work with two middle school students who, before my senior talk, I probably wouldn't even have met. Throughout my experience, I've also been able to further the talk about healthy lifestyles and how to eat healthy. I've also taught them how to work out effectively, meaning to work out while working out is important to have a good form because it will give you greater results, but it'll also assure that you won't hurt yourself. We also had conversations. One day we spoke about how much sugar and energy drink contained and having those talks really made my senior presentation fun. I can honestly say that I have changed for the better. I have become more humbled. To be honest, at the start of this project, I was kind of scared because I was by myself and I had no one to depend on. But as time passed, I realized that this was a good thing because it made me more organized, more communicative, and more independent. And overall, it made me much hard. It made me a harder worker. At one point in senior year, the stress was so bad, it just made me want to give up on this project. But having David and Daniela has motivated me to finish off this year strong, and that's what I intend to do. The passion in this project is extraordinary. What I wanted to do was diminish those negative thoughts through exercise and healthy eating. A student once said, a student said that she wanted to change, she wanted to work out with me because she wanted to change the way she looks. I realized that the work that I was about to do was very important. And I wanted to change the way that she felt about herself. I know for a fact that the work I have done has helped others. I have been able to, f to further the focus on health and fitness in our community. I've also been able to shed the light on how people view themselves. As the director once mentioned in one of his college classes, how can you love someone when you can't love yourself? To wrap up my senior talk, I want to end with a theme from Director Seniors Mondays. <clears throat> we talked about different types of love. And the one that really stuck out to me was Philoustia love. If you do not know what that is, it is self-love. It's important to love yourself because once you love yourself, you accept who you are. I want to end this senior talk on a positive note. So thank you for coming. This concludes my senior talk.